Welcome to this Unity tutorial. I apologize for the delay in releasing this video. But from now, we will aim to upload daily videos or at least two videos every week. So stay tuned for that. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a hyper casual game like this one in Unity. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, open your Unity editor and create a new project. For this tutorial, I am using Unity 2019. Select the Universal Render Pipeline and create your project. Once you have created your project, it will look similar to this. Select all the folders except settings and scene and delete them. Right click to create a new scene, give it a name and double click to open it. Delete the default scene as well. Next, go to the windows menu and select rendering lighting. Make sure that the auto generated option is unchecked as it can consume a lot of memory and power. Open the layout tab where you will find various layouts to choose from. Use a layout that works best for you. For this tutorial, I am using a tall layout, but you can customize it according to your needs. Now right click in the hierarchy and create a cube. Scale it on the X and Z axis and set the Z position as well. Set the camera and give the cube a name called platform. To keep things organized, create a new folder called sprite and import a texture for the platform. Create another folder called material Right click to create a material, give it a name and add a ground texture on it. Increase the tiling as well. Create an empty game object called player. Under this object, add a cylinder. and set the Y position to 1. Customize the ground and the camera position, scale the cylinder a bit and adjust its height. To give the cylinder material, duplicate the platform material, give it a name and drag it onto the cylinder. Also delete the ground texture. Create a tip for the cylinder by duplicating it and adjust the scale and position. Create a material for the tip as well. For this project, I am using some packages. So open the asset store. and import the free skybox extend shader, tutin and joystick package into your project. Now 
once you import it you will see these packages in your project inside the skybox package you will find different types of skyboxes choose the one that works best for you and customize it accordingly Now let's write some code. Create a new folder called scripts and create a C sharp script called player. Drag it onto the player object and double click to open it in Visual Studio. In this script, create an update method and a private rigid body variable called rb in the awake method reference this variable add a rigid body component to the player object and freeze its rotation next Write a serialized field private joystick variable called joystick. We also need two variables, one for the forward speed and one for the left and right speed. In the update method, write rb dot velocity is equal to new vector three joystick dot horizontal multiplied by the left and right speed and time dot delta time. Right click in the hierarchy and create a canvas. Set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size and the reference resolution to 1080 by 1920. Now go to the joystick package. You will find the floating joystick prefab. Drag it into the canvas and set the image alpha to 1. Select the player and drag the floating joystick prefab into the slot. Set the forward and left and right speed to 400. Save this project and hit play. Now you can see that our player can move left and right as well as move forward. However, there is a problem. When you move left and right, there is no limit and our player can fall. We don't want that. So let's clamp the player's X position. Open the player script and write transform.position is equal to new vector 3 mathf.clamp transform.position.x minimum and the maximum x and minimum and the maximum y transform.position.y and transform.position.z. We need a vector to variable called minimum and maximum x. To define the minimum and maximum x positions for the player, save the script and go back to the unity. Check the minimum and maximum player x positions. And add these numbers to the minimum and maximum variables. Hit play again. Now you can see that a player can only move within the specified minimum and maximum positions. Now let's create a camera follow script. And open it up. Here we need a transform target 
and a float smooth speed. Add an inbuilt function called date update. Write transform.position is equal to new vector3 method.lerp transform.position.x target.position.x and smooth speed. Transform.position.y and target.position.c plus offset c. Create a vector3 variable called offset. Under the awake method, set offset to transform.position minus target.position. Save the script and go back to the Unity. Select the camera and drag our player object into the target slot and hit play. As you can see, now our player can move and camera also follow the player. I hope you like this video. If you like it, make sure to subscribe our channel. And also stay tuned for the next part of this series. Bye.